Number 38. Among other things, an ideal fuel for the control thrusters of a space vehicle should decompose in a spontaneous exothermic reaction when exposed to the appropriate catalyst. Evaluate the following substances under standard state conditions as suitable candidates for fuels. Okay, so in this question, is diborane a good candidate for fuel for these control thrusters of a space vehicle? Well, they gave us the criteria, right? It needs to decompose into a spontaneous exothermic reaction. So here's diborane, B2H6 gas. It will break down into 2B gas plus 3H2 gas. It needs to break down in a spontaneous exothermic reaction. Now there's two things going on here, right? There's one a variable that controls spontaneity, and there's one variable that controls whether something is exothermic or endothermic. It does not matter which one you would tackle first. So let's just do, I don't know, exothermic, right? What happens if something is exothermic? Well, remember, exothermic means that you are losing energy. You're not absorbing energy. You're releasing energy. And exothermic, the way that I remember exothermic or endothermic is that it has an H in it, right? Therm, heat, right? So we're talking about a heat value. That's a delta H, H for heat. Now, specifically, is that delta H going to be a positive or a negative value? Exothermic, you could think of it as X exiting the building, you're leaving, that's a negative value. So we're looking for a delta H that's a negative value here. Now, since we're using standard state conditions, that means that I can go into the back of a textbook to find out what the delta H values are for each individual component. I do have the delta G values here because that's the spontaneous part of the question. But first, we're going to work with exothermic and see if this is exothermic. I'm only going to use the delta H values. So what formula are we going to use? Well, it's this one right here, right? Delta H for a whole entire reaction is equal to the sum. That's the addition. So we got to add up all the products, delta H of the products, and subtract by the sum of all the delta H's of the reactants. Now, are these numbers going to stay the same or are they going to be different? Well, that goes by the balanced equation. How many do you have? Well, I only had one B286. I had two Bs and I had three H2s. These numbers are only for one of that substance. So for each one of them, just to get into a good habit, you will multiply by your coefficients. So I'll multiply this one by one, the 565 times two and the zero times three. Now you just got to sum each side up. Literally it's B gas plus H2, literally plus. So I take this and I add it to this component. Here, since there's only one component on the reactant side, no need to add. So this side is already going to be 36.4. And this side, if I just throw it into calci, I get 565 times 2, or 2 times 565. I get 1,130, right? Plus 0 is the same number, so 1,130. And I guess for sig fig purposes, eh, I mean, I guess we'll add the tenths, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now we have the parts. Let's just plug it into the formula. Let's find out, is it exothermic? Delta H for the reaction equals 130 minus the 36.4. Okay, that doesn't look too good to me. Right, if we take that value and I subtract it by 36.4, I get 109, 1093.6. And that unit would be kilojoules. This is a positive delta H value. Remember, we wanted it to be exothermic, negative. Positive values means that you're endothermic, so you're absorbing heat. 
Since this is endothermic and not exothermic, you don't even have to worry about the other part because it's not suitable. It's not suitable uh, for fuel. So that's why they don't use diborane for fuels. And there you go. This part's done. Okay. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I think there's a few more for this number, so hang tight if you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend you guys are. I'll, s I'll talk to you in a little bit. And in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind pressing the subscribe button, liking the video, telling your friends, um, that would mean the world to me. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.